Um, so it's my pleasure to introduce Malik Maturi, who is from Sentient and is talking about unleashing the power of small LLMs for generative AI at the edge. Malik, I'll let you take over. Thank you, Daniel. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here at the Tiny AI Forum to share uh, Sentient's latest advancements in generative AI, focusing on small large language models or LLMs at the edge. Thank you for um, the organizers for uh, providing us with this platform. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm Malik Maturi, the Chief Business Officer at Sentient. With me in spirit here are John Tinsu and Stephen Osborne, whose uh, expertise actually in developing these transformative technologies at uh, Sentient for edge deployment has been crucial for this presentation. Okay, so now let's dive into how we are shaping the edge of tomorrow. So um, just to introduce uh, Sentient's journey and thesis from founding has been about improving how humans and technologies connect. Our goal is to make um, everyday devices smarter and more in intuitive by embedding natural interfaces like voice and vision. So voice interaction has been uh, our you know products have been devices we've been building have been uh, uh, for voice in the, when we started. So we were uh, developing devices and those have been evolving. We have been now with this voice interaction evolving with uh, large language models um, into, into edge devices, this marks the next step in this evolution, enhancing capabilities such as conversational speech. Um, building upon our earlier edge AI chips, uh, we had for wake words, commands, vision, and also ASR, uh, we are produced, which we are producing today. We are now poised to enhance these capabilities further with LLMs. Our customers are demanding these edge AI capabilities, and it's unlike anything we have seen before. It's unprecedented in its scale and urgency you know, about the requests we are getting. These uh, they're seeking technologies that are not only responding in real time, but of course they need you know all privacy and efficiency. Um, this uh, this demand from our customers in the past has propelled us to deploy more than 25 million of our neural network chips and deployed over 50 million of our models at the edge. So <clears throat> now this, this is basically where we are going and this is the future where technology is seamlessly blending into our lives and, uh, and this is where Sentient is at the forefront uh, guiding um, AI uh, towards the edge. <clears throat> where um, so next uh, I just want to give you a brief evolution of the large language model from from where it was in the niche research and to mainstream applications now um, and it's been extraordinary right beginning with rule-based systems uh, back we go back almost 50 years through RNN LSTMs to the groundbreaking paper recently on uh, uh, from uh, on attention is all you need paper and we've witnessed this transformation transformative journey right now models like llama 2 can operate on devices as compact as raspberry pi as shown yesterday and this progression is underscoring our belief in the edges potential to host sophisticated ai model with 1 billion parameter models are here are uh, even more efficient llms are on the way and uh, I think these are where we are driving now towards more extensive capabilities in these resource constrained environments, which, um, which I will be talking about. So what is the current state of the art? Um, today, um, state of the art like LMs are like Llama 2 or Fire 2 from Microsoft, which I showed in the previous slide, are showing high, very high performance, but don't require massive servers. Advances uh, like Qualcomm's or Intel you know, alongside architectural op op optimizations they've made, allow these models to run efficiently in very low compute environments. This shift towards these kind of efficient models, powerful models at the edge is just beginning. We also note here that uh, for real-time LLM applications, such as conversational speech, we require only about three to four tokens per second. So for pragmatic implementations of small LLMs, this is an important uh, point to note, right? So where where do we go? What is the architecture? Uh, so 
understanding the architectures of LLMs, and this is just one element of a, of a large language model, which I've shown, uh, shown here. It reveals how compute demands for are balanced for high edge efficiency. For example, LAMA2 design exa uh, as optimizing both the linear and attention terms maintaining will can help maintain high performance while even on very compact devices so this balance is really crucial for deploying ai where it is needed most right directly on the edge so the ability to optimize the attention terms and the in llama 2 for example uh, is something that we will show in a in a, in a few slides later uh, how efficiently if you can implement it you can get a high speed up and accuracy and maintain accuracy so if you look at some of the different optimizations and approaches over the you know uh, different uh, 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 realms here diverse optimization strategies have been adopt you know been deployed over the years, right? Over different, uh, in different domains so for a long time. But uh, if you look at some of the targets that we are targeting here for the more dimensional, earlier, the linear terms or retraining models, these approaches enhance performance without compromising model integrity. Some of the optimizations uh, we have found to be critical are highlighted here, uh, like quantization, kernel fusion, specification, uh, which I'll be talking more in the next slide, speculative decoding, knowledge distillation, and network pruning are some of these which we have explored. Fine tuning with sparsity, further uh, or um, uh, quantization of our uh, retraining have further achieved significant speed up while maintaining accuracy. So these are the things that we have implemented and uh, and uh, are achieving very efficient uh, uh, results. So uh, let me go through that. So uh, in so a couple of the ones that I want to highlight here are dynamic specification and supervised fine tuning. These exemplify some of the highlights that you know these two techniques basically highlight uh, how we tailored LLMs. Some of the of all the you know the the ones I mentioned earlier, so these are the two I'm I'm going to talk about uh, how they're reducing the memory requirements significantly and accelerated sufficiently to achieve the real time operation for evaluation purposes only. Uh, so we we ran essential parts of a model based on the input. We ensure efficient operation without any um, accuracy loss. Dynamic model evaluation based on input. Uh, particularly focusing on uh, leveraging the ReLUs for sparsity and approximating even small values as zero, this approach yielded significant speed up for us initially, which was about a 30% speed up without any loss in accuracy. The numerous optimization beyond that were also explored to reduce data volumes, including input output sparsity, well as uh, efficient uh, data structures for memory management. So we also retrained, then we further went further and retrained using supervised fine tuning on custom data set. And so because of the memory reduction techniques that we deployed, we were able to do all of the retraining with just a very limited modest resources. Uh, we had uh, specifically like, um, uh, 16 A100 GPUs for retraining, right? This is. This is uh, just this is as critical and important feature that we deployed. So this approach resulted in notable like a 2x speed up in performance and the techniques coupled with our hardware optimization achieves significant speed up. Um, these, these, are, these are what we demonstrate as practical requirements for AGI for LLMs and I have a uh, small uh, demonstration of the example running on a, old um, C x86 CPU. We also demonstrated, uh, let me go through that. We also demonstrated this speed up on a, on a Jetson Nano last week, and we were, we are working with even more smaller MCUs and MPUs at this point to deploy the same speed up example and achieve, you know, five, 10, 20 tokens per second, depending on the hardware resource. Um, as I said, for conversational speech, we require about, you know, 
three, four uh, tokens per second at the most. But we here we show about five tokens per second. This is a GGML implementation. It's a C library for machine learning, particularly focused on enabling large models and high performance computation on commodity hardware. Uh, the Llama.cpp is the is the model that uh, from G, G, uh, it's from GGML and it's running on the right and Sentient's optimized LLM on the left. As you'll see, it runs about two x faster on the state of the art. Right. So this is a this is a model with just basically the the query was to list the atomic number or the chemical elements based on the atomic number. So and um, so uh, as you can see, the speed up at, at the rate at which the tokens are being generated here is twice as fast. And that's it's all running on the same machine. Um, now, obviously, you know, if you run it on a different uh, PC or CPU, more modern, it's, can, it can achieve about 10x, um, about 10 tokens per second with our implementation versus uh, five or less for the other one. So. So, um, so let me go to the next uh, slide here. Oh, the summer, in summary, uh, Sentient um, is, uh, we're not just following trends, right? We're setting, um, we're setting the trend here for moving these kind of models to the LM models into the edge devices. Our focus is on leveraging sparse computation here for edge devices resulting in all these breakthrough results significant enhancement in speed and efficiency of llms like llama 7b achieving up to 30 tokens per second uh, for edge accelerated npus uh, we are also enabling a number of conversational ai applications for appliances retail customer service for our customers and we are working with them today and it's our belief that um, as we progress more optimized llms will be running on edge hardware and will gain more widespread adoption. And um, I think this whole uh, forum has been very um, illustrative of that fact where things are moving. And uh, lastly, um, as we look into the future, our vision is clear. We want to continue pioneering and integrating smaller, more efficient LMs with custom silicon technology, which is really what is needed, revolutionized revolutionary memory techniques and usage. So, um, you know, we'll set the new trends and the status for going forward. Uh, also, um, generative AI is not just about technology innovation. It's about actually creating a world where AI is seamlessly uh, seamless in part of our everyday lives and natural interaction with everyday devices. It's about paving the way for the tomorrow. And that's where we feel where LMs are coming to the edge and that's where it'll stay. Thank you. And thank you for joining us in this journey this today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Malik. It's a fantastic way to wrap up the session. Uh, generative AI is coming to the edge and uh, there's so much exciting stuff we're gonna be able to do. Huge thanks to all of our partners. Um, wouldn't be possible without you. We have AI Zip, Arduino, ARM, Brainship, Edge Impulse, which is where I work, Embed You Are, Efficient, Greenwave Technologies, Gravetti Inc., Hymax, ImagineMob, Infineon, Inatera, Nota AI, NXP, P&G, Corvo, Qualcomm, Renesas, Schneider Electric, SenseML, Sony, Silicon Labs, ST, Synaptics, Sentient, and TDK. These are our strategic partners. We also have executive strategic partners, Qualcomm AI Research, who are advancing AI research to make efficient AI ubiquitous. Sentient, who are accelerating your edge compute, making edge AI a reality. And our platinum strategic partners, Embed UR, Atrios, who deploy vision AI at the edge at scale with Sony, and our gold strategic partners, Arm, building the future of tiny ML, Edge Impulse, the leading development platform for Edge ML, Infineon, driving decarbonization and digitalization together, and Renesas, who are enabling the next generation of AI-powered solutions that will revolutionize every industry sector. 
ST Microelectronics, who provide extensive solutions to make tiny machine learning easy. Synaptics, who are engineering exceptional experiences. And our silver strategic partners, AIZip, Arduino, Brainchip, Efficient, Greenwaves, Gravetti, Hymax, Imagimob, Inatera, Nota AI, NXP, PNG, Schneider Electric, SenseML, Silicon Labs, and TDK. Thank you to all of you. And that's to wrap up our session here. Huge thanks to the audience and all of the presenters. We've had an amazing couple of days of insights and inspiration to go forward and build great things. So thank you so much, everybody, again, and um, I hope you enjoyed it.